The first step in that troubleshooting process is to get off on the right foot and to get a good description of what the problem at hand is. Now, when we get a call about a problem pump in the field, the number one thing we're going to hear is, my pump's not working. And that just isn't enough of a description to be able to go on any type of uh, troubleshooting to get to a root cause. Uh, you need to understand the failure mode more intimately to be able to decide what the root causes might be. A pump not working can mean a lot of different things. A pump not working can mean the pump shaft is physically locked, you can't turn the pump. Uh, a pump not working can mean the pump is turning, but it's not delivering any capacity. Uh, it's turning, but it's delivering some capacity, but not as much as I expect. It's turning, but it's not priming. Maybe it has nothing to do with the pump at all. Maybe the pump not working means that the motor or a coupling has failed, something on the other end of the pump. And so getting a good description is really key to understanding what is that next step in the process? What are those possible root causes that are causing that? So again, step one is asking a lot of those questions and getting a good description of what the pump failure is.